Sagittarius. What is up, gangsters? All right. <clears throat> Let's find out. I'm going to clear out Scorpio real fast. Okay. Um, what is the Sagittarius vibe? This one. All right. So, um, let me fix it. So you can see better. Okay. See my mess, messy desk better. <laughs> um, all right. So, what is going on with your bad self? Stiff as fuck. You know what? Like half the deck came out for that. I'm gonna I'm gonna try another deck. Maybe this is not your deck. Because usually it's a lot easier to shuffle these. And if it's so hard, I feel like that's a it's a saying. Um so, let's see, Sagittarius. Knight of Pentacles. So, first off, that's like m new money coming in, uh, probably a new job offer, some sort of like, um, something coming in. Um, wait a second, let me see what we got here. Yeah, so it's like some sort of blessing is coming in with this Knight of Pentacles. Three of Wands in reverse, you might have been put in a third party situation or like some situation amongst friends or whatever, but there was like some sort of conflict or thing that you felt like you needed to cut them off, right? With the King of Swords. Um, Three of Wands, I just, it always feels like, like that shady third party energy. Like it could be like a gossip girl situation or whatever, where there's just like these people talking mad shit, creating drama. Because it does have a lot to do with communication. Um, on the flip side, it could be somebody cheating or being unfaithful to you in some way. Um, so I've learned that there are many ways a person can be unfaithful to you. And cheating is not even the biggest one. Um, so, yes. It's some sort of disloyalty to you. Um, the fool in reverse. This is like not wanting to do anything impulsive. Kind of scared to take a leap of faith almost like you're just kind of in this energy of like cutting people off and being very guarded you know like you're really thinking through the energies that you're allowing into your life right um so let's let's see knight of pentacles <clears throat> The chariot. There's movement. So maybe you might be switching jobs. Um, you might be relocating. Following the money. I don't know. But there's like this energy of leaving something behind. Um, three of wands in reverse. I hope it's that. <laughs> I hope that's what you're leaving behind. I feel this energy. I mean even on this side of it. We have the king of swords that cut off energy. Not just like goodbye. <laughs> Yeah, the Hermit. This is like spending some time with yourself, getting deep introspection. Really like figuring shit out for yourself. Alright, we've got Cancer, Virgo energy, a lot of air sign. Um, four Pentacles in reverse. It's like you're cutting off people that you feel like use you, right? People who hold on to you for material reasons. Um, Feel like you just feel used. Um, 
All right, the full in reverse. Eight of Swords in reverse, no longer feeling like trapped or uh, like in bondage in any way. Ace of Cups, loving yourself above all. And that's also the beginning of a love cycle. I really feel like this is that self-love though. This is like nurturing yourself. Yeah, Queen of Pentacles in reverse, you're in the energy of letting something go here. Queen of Pentacles in the reverse, I feel like you're letting go of a broke ass that made you feel used. If I'm being real, if I'm being honest, um, because it looks like this person's main focus, unless they're an earth sign, which with that hermit could very well be like a Virgo or something, but I get this energy of you letting them go because like you just feel used. <laughs> um, all right, so what does Sagittarius not know? Let's, let's find that out. What do you not know? That song just came to me that Mama said there'd be days like this, there'd be days like this. Now, Page of Swords in Reverse, this is kind of a warning. It's like saying, if you don't cut this person off, Ten of Wands in Reverse, if you don't close out this deceitful cycle here that they've been, you know, giving you, you're going to be feeling left out in the cold with the Five of Pentacles. It's kind of like, it's now or never. Come home, you know, it's, it's now or never, you, it's kind of like, if you don't get out of this situation now, like, it's just going to be more conflict, and they're going to find a way to leave you out in the cold, they're going to find a way to, you know, to make matters worse for you, so it's almost like, get out while you can, <laughs> you know, kind of energy, um, because this person, they're not happy about it. Um, yeah, they want to leave you out in the cold. They want to make you feel burdened and trapped and so I'm just letting you know that's the energy that they want to put you in. Um, that's what you don't know, right? So what is the future energy for Sagittarius? Because that's just the agenda or the intention that you don't know about this other person. But the reality of your future is over yonder. So what is future energy for Sagittarius? The star, right? We've got Aquarius energy on the board now. Um, but this is feeling very hopeful. Feeling, the finding that light in the darkness. Um, pouring your love out onto the world and with a new prospect. Three of Pentacles, I get this energy that you, with, you could potentially have a new job or new roommates. But it's some kind of friendship tied, um, tied to money in a way. Um, like it could be a, like co-workers or, um, or roommate new roommates or something but it's like yeah because you have the ten of pentacles in reverse and it's kind of like you're 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 leaving a cycle so you're kind of starting out from ground zero to get there but <clears throat> you have all this faith and <laughs> and this like you see it you're reaching for the stars you're like that's fine these baby steps these milestones they're getting me further and further or closer and closer toward my goal right um, but yeah, with this Three of Pentacles, it's, it's kind of that energy of like, yeah, like new roommates, new job front, um, waiting for payoff of that. Nine of Swords, feeling very guarded, 
in regards to love and emotions and things like that, like kind of walking that tightrope, kind of like not wanting to um, even think about that shit right now, I feel like. Um, yeah, so what else does Sagittarius need to know? Let's drop some oracles on this. Because I feel like... I feel like you've been kind of warned about this energy. And you've come back to this energy. Um, and it's kind of like... I don't know if there's some sort of like needing to rely on this energy. Whether it's a job, whether it's a relationship, whatever the case. Um, I feel like you've been warned though. And that kind of gives me this feeling like the universe is like you really need to take your opportunity to leave, you know, to not have to rely on energies like that. Um, so, I mean, the universe only warns us a few times before that divine intervention happens and divine intervention if you force the divine's hand because you continuously stay in a certain energy when you've been warned then the divine kind of whoops your ass too <laughs> you know it's like I fucking told you <laughs> you know and it's like so be careful don't test the angels <laughs> Dude, I know, I've done it for like a decade. Um, independence. Yeah, right now you need to really find your independence. You need to learn how to swim. You know, it's kind of like getting into that energy of, you know, especially with the hermit card, it's like, it's time for that independence. It's time to, you know, take it upon yourself to be the master of your own life. Um, It's like you have to trust fall into the universe and hope and know that the divine has your back, you know, especially as you're leaving this, you know, commemoration, like commemorate all your milestones along the way. Every, every fucking little victory you get, make sure you're commemorating it. Make sure you, you are staying on top of your journey so you know where you're at in your journey, right? Um, and you know, and it makes it so much better. You know, if we don't commemorate those little milestones, we fail to see how far we've come, you know? Oak endures. You will endure, my friend. Small prayer. It's, you know, sometimes it's spiritual warfare is the hardest kind because. It fucking eats at deeper parts of yourself, right? And it's kind of like saying, like, you gotta do this. <laughs> you gotta stand strong. <laughs> stand tall. You got this. Uh, spread your little wings. Be independent. You got this. Um, but that's pretty much what I have for you. So, <clears throat> hold up. I hope you have a beautiful day. And I hope that this was helpful for you. Namaste. I will see you on the next one.